Hello. Welcome again to Valhalla. Agile, I'm out to get firewood. What? What? Agile, I'm out to get firecrackers. Why firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. I guess we need it. What if I can just get off the door? Yeah, good idea, go ahead. <laughs> Be back in a bit. Even uh, for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a lot more than when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Great. Okay, that was quick. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Greetings. <laughs> Time to mix uh, drinks and change lines. And the guy that would have come back twice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Any chance did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yeah. There were lots of weird explosion noises through the night. But as far as I understand, uh, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise? I just keep it at uh, whatever drone store you heard. Mm, right. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. So you remain in the vicinity? I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. This an explosion all night. Interesting, so we didn't get that far away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 Marsh blast. Here we go. Well, you didn't mess up. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for living. I can fight dirty. <laughs> and chill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It will be like me saying that uh, you get people drunk for living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not, not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like a... I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I've even come to believe I'm the only one here enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suffix next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this suffix thingy. Alright. <laughs> here we go. Good stuff, like less burning but the puncher pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie, and you are? I'm Ingram, anyway. I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at the... Uh... Your rubs go through a nano machine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nano machine rejection that feels oldly suicidal. So, why do you go through the whole thing? Rejection? He die something? The second one. It's easy to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution? Because it's not a machine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For 5 hours you're trapped in a bed while horrible pressure builds up in your body, and all machine are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a, mechan a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies? Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? It's a gut punch. Yeah, should I figure out? Hey, give me one of those. Sure. Two count. Two? Two? There we go. Yeah, I love this. It looks different from yours, though. I had a couple extra in his, actually. So, where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, uh, like all other maintenance system. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having another machine in the body are way to dance. And the rest of the enhancements, uh, where you're risk constructed or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries? I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please, come again. Don't count on it. You said that twice! Shut up! <laughs> Seemed like a nice guy. Right. Won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day? Nah, I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough, that guy tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone is in good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way I'll be in good mood too. <laughs> bad touch for mama. Jill, you have a, such a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charge. So what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. 
Today my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed as she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. And on top of it, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to the court to just sign the keys to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a tan temper tantrum. She said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the ants uh, will make her jump on the highway. So Eva comes and says, I make sure it kills you because we weren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior. Psh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but uh, I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friend when I was 7 or 8. Uh, we played all the time, we even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. She would stop playing, she had uh, other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all of that, I mean, age difference and all, uh, but there is something particularly I still cannot forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to the house and went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said she had no little sister. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I had on her. I admire her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, her admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey, it's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. So aside from destroying any admiration hell for her, she made sure not to fix that, that impression. Ah. But enough about me. How are you? Everything's fine aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dad girlfriend, um, dad ex-sister? Yeah, I got this note from her. Let's see... Hmm. Wow, she must be really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right, of course. Yeah, Brandini, will you? There's a little story I wanna tell you. Alrighty. Brandini! Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Oh my god, fucking ghost. Oh hell no. This is a story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. It's only became animosity and now long after she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time the girl will become attached to her eldest sister, uh, eldest sister, looking up her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister will even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister will quit her job. Sister was worried sick about leaving her ba baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Oh, shut up. <laughs> the girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of her head crumbled. Hey, Joe, I, I, I can't leave her sweater. Uh, do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Enough? Shit. Peace out. Or I mean, uh, I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be evil, heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you and that must take courage and lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth is dry. Can I get a beer? Mm, beer? Sure. A beer? Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? Right? Yeah, definitely. I am losing my fucking mind! Thanks. So, tell me. Did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah, totally. I never had brother and sister, but uh, once Alina introduced me to her as a sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her bring her studies, read books with her, play with her a lot. She was, uh, she was pretty much my sister too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this: as both as big and a little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, then I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday, if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be here. Remember, I won't forgive you. I will not forgive you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go take my break. Alrighty. Bah, you were here? Uh, you were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. 
Jim even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Anyways, uh, call me if anything comes up. Okay, quick, uh, quick pause. <laughs> quick break! Quick break! Chill, a kid's looking for you. Oh shit. Hey. Oh, oh, Norma. <laughs> Thank god. Phew. <laughs> you are back. Oh fuck you. Uh, you do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said it out loud. Yeah, I'm actually... I wanted to thank you. Phew, she thought I was uh, for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol. <laughs> Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Yeah. So responsible! Yo! I kinda faced my mom and told her all about her pressure and she was putting on me. And I said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that I'd be a waste to spend money in a university just for me to not give it, give it in my all. So she told me to still go to the college at course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. And well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed headfirst into all my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right, I will be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Ah, oh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a blending chain, please. On it. <laughs> blending chain. Why? Because bleeding is too much. We have censorship. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. Hey, yo, do you hate me? Uh, kind of. Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can't I? You're the main character, you know. <laughs> That's... That's <laughs> that is not helpful. What are you? A cute girl! Right, sure. You okay, Gil? Making a lot of faces there. Mm, yeah, just remember stuff. Uh, could you give me a hand here? Serve a beer, please? Sure. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I show you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it will spook me, but let's try. <laughs> really? You just changed the place? Okay. I'm gonna change the interface like that, huh? Can't see anything. You sure? Yep. Hmm, weird. <laughs> Nobody except me! Dory Inquisition! Dory Inquisition! Dory Inquisition! Ouch, I'm a beast man song. <laughs> Mazong, can I believe I'm using the spare tongues so early in the night? You have more than one? Honey! Oh, hey, Dorothy. I'll make you a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Thanks. Oh, yeah, before you leave, uh, what? Are you guys throwing a New Year party too? Yep. Ah, sure, I'll be here then. Well, I've got things to do, so. You do? Who does, who does that what? Uh, sorry, I sneeze. We're sneezing. <laughs> Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah, yo. Take care of Becky, please. Who's Becky? Oh, Becky, yeah, sure. <laughs> she was... Man, she was in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I don't need to get them through more shady means. <laughs> sure. She gotta buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all at risk of burning. I'll make sure there is an extra distinguisher at the end. Please. Let's see, not here, huh? Weird, that's where the tracks led here. Hmm. Oh, hi, um, I'm uh, at a bar. Well, that's nice. Can I get you something? Let's have a brandini. Uh, sure. What a mysterious visitor! This seems right. And what brought you here? Um, uh, I think it's better if my name remains a mystery for now. The registry... The registry says arrow? The registry? Uh, the money is there, but the registry cannot display the name properly. Still, what brought you here, I'm a mysterious person? I am following Alice Rabbit's trail. I want to know how deep the hole goes. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> the massive leaf of White Knight's insider info from two weeks ago made it to global news. Curiosity got the best of me, so I started seeking the trail of the transmission. Do you work for someone then? No, you could say it's uh, for fun. Alice Rabbit is quite an urban legend, and I wanted to study it. I see. Hey, uh, would you say Alice Rabbit is a person or a group? Excuse me? Well, there's a people who say there is might be as well a, be a group instead of a, just a person. It can be just a group, but it can also be just a symbol. Everyone using the Alice Rabbit money here could be doing so as a way of staying anonymous while projecting clear intent. I doubt that though. Why? Alice Rabbit's actions are too consistent. 
They cannot be a group, and if it is a group, it's most likely coordinated by just one person. Everything seems uh, to fit an agenda. The attacks are too consistent and use uh, similar methods. Really? This can be hard for most people to notice beyond the consistent usage of the same bunny avatar. But uh, the way the attacks are executed is always in the same vein. Not that it makes it easier to track, actually. Its tracks only get dimmer and dimmer with uh, each attack. And so you came to check on what might be left behind from the last uh, hacking job? A pil uh, pilgrimage of sorts, if you will. Say, would you mind giving me a Zen star? Uh, sure. So for people that don't know, she's uh, uh, one other uh, character, secret character that we unlocked. And if I'm not wrong, she's the second one. Zen star. Here we go. Ah, as nice as I remember. So what have you found? Can you share? Sure, why the hell not? I'm in a good mood. Well, wherever Alice Rabbit is or are, I spent a lot of time planting seeds all over the city. Seeds? Uh, there's a trace of the video being streamed from up to 23 different locations. All of them are the routers of different brands that blew up after the transmission. Every one of them using different ESP, some even using internet providers from outside the city. There's even trace of programs that hack into devices giving it the means to access a network for as long as the broadcast lasted. Apparently, Alice Rabbit also accessed the devices early to make sure they, they'd be tuned on their time right. Well, yeah, you wanna test something. Well, the only thing without the transmission was my old SRT, so yeah. Quite a craftsmanship, let me tell you. Left no traces whatsoever or where anything came from. Even if you look at the metadata and the leaked files left on old devices after the transmission ended, there's nothing. Perfect crime, huh? Not perfect compared to the other thugs like the first leaks that started riots around here. This one is sloppy. More specifically, the means of destroying evidence wasn't as effective as other occasions. But thanks to that commotion at the banks, any attempts to investigate further were curled by the madness that followed. I see. Well, I must keep moving. Oh yeah. Name's Tomcat, by the way. I know. By the way, it's from the same game that Lex is from. Nice meeting you! Huh, they're actually cleared up too. Well, I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am, don't worry. Alright, careful out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this day. It was actually very short, strangely enough. Uh, it only takes me around uh, 20 minutes to moi. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this very short uh, episode, as usual. Uh, have a lovely day and a lovely evening. Good lovely pie. <laughs>